16th Century Board Game by Oakwood Ouroboros I asked him once why he chose me out of all the others he could have saved. I mean, Ford was probably more interesting. I was only a kid. After all, he just shrugged his inexistent shoulders and said, You'd la you're, you're, younger, you're younger, so, so you'd, you'd, you'd last, last longer, longer, I suppose. There's some notion of time in the mindscape. I realized then I could measure with the growth of my nails and hair, the healing of my bruises around my wrists. It was terrifying. I might as well explain the whole charade, charade as well a little better. Just before the entire dimension was wiped out of existence, Bill decided to save one human from extinctions and to bring that human into the mindscape to entertain him for at least as long as the, that human could live. Before he went back to get pizza delivery to himself by himself, I'm now trapped in a demon's realm of a demon for the rest of my life. With the destruction of Gravity Falls, the portal to the Nightmare Realm was also shut off, meaning there was no way out of this place, even if it were into a dimension of suffering and pain, it would still make a difference from the infinite gray scale that my world has turned into. Sometimes I would look down at myself, at my clothes, to convince myself the colors still exist, but with time the colors washed out of the fabric, and I was solaced in bright red of my own blood. Those were the first few weeks, I think. They were weeks anyway. There is no day-night cycle here. Anyway, Bill realized I would not last long, and being left to roam the place without distractions, I was bound to become nothing more than some maddening, paranoid animal. So I struck a deal. It was meant to keep my sanity, but even now, from time to time, I feel it slipping through my fingers. Circuitry is badly wired, and when I think too much, I'm likely to black out. Not literally. I would remember everything quite clearly. But I can't stop the horrible truth that there is no escape from getting to me and taking over my body and making me bite and slash and growl or reach for a razor. It's still far better this way though. I know that they are simulations, but the fake Mabel, fake Ford, and fake Wendy are close enough to the original for me to shrug off the slightest differences that would appear from time to time, the bugs in the system. I think Bill actually likes to create new creatures to entertain me in this little grayscale world. He is a god of it, after all. Over time, he managed to bring back all the inhabitants of Gravity Falls from more or less accurate and even created new friends for me based off of books and other materials that existed in my home dimensions. There's Violet, Wirt, Macro, Kirk, Fiona, and more. They're all highly de detailed and rather fun. To tell the truth, you would, we would go on adventures in the woods, packed with simulated frets, or we would stay at the shack and listen to each other like no one has ever listened before, or they would tell stories that I never would have imagined before. They aren't perfect, that's the point, and will sometimes laugh at my obsession with Babel. Like any other person, my people their age would. I also had a few simulated girl and boy, I had admitted, friends whom I didn't mind confiding in me more deeply. They were pretty nice and affectionate. I loved them as well until one day I remembered that this was all Bill's creation and therefore they were this was technically Bill 
that I was kissing. He laughed when he saw me hunching over throwing up, teasing me for being so naive and stupid. I never had another romantic relationship again after that. Food is also simulated. The way it tastes, how it fills my belly, and you feel slightly sick after e having eaten too much. But I also have to eat those white, bland, cube-shaped things, which actually contain nutrition instead of tricking my body into thinking I've eaten. I asked Bill what they were made out of one day. He just said they were recycled. recycled. They don't seem to appear appetite seem as appetizing anymore. But I eat them anyway because I want to survive. I think I hope. The evenings are spent with Bill who's defined the length of days in the world of his. All the fake friends and fake family will go home or go to sleep. Leaving me and Bill alone in the old attic room, a copy of the bedroom I shared with Mabel before, from under the bed he will pull out the old shoebox with Super Runner printed on the side and set up a board game. This was where I completed my end of the deal. The board game is very old and Bill says that it's his favorite ever. It consists of two large rectangular boards with a grade grade drawn on it. Four different boat tokens that represented ships, companies, and hundreds of tiny discs shaped tokens. A tower of which would no not fall no matter how many times you stack on the top. Thanks to the modified physics Bill applied to the game. I never fully understood the rules, and even now, most of the time, I play blindly. When I asked Bill what is happening, he would ignore me. He would be so immersed in the game. He did tell me once that the tokens represented death and suffering, but that's about it. I, all I know, was that the more you had at the end of the game, the more likely you are to win. Surprisingly, I would win, win rather often. One in five times. This always surprised Bill as much as me. But that isn't what matters in the immediately after the match. It means that I would be allowed to sleep for several hours without being bothered, poked, Prodded, bruised, possessed, stabbed, burned, or anything else. When I lose, though, I guess that's... I've grown used to it. It's become yet another distraction for the inevitable ability of my presence here. It's far from enjoyable, and it would sometimes board on torture when Bill was particularly angry over something or another. But he knows when to stop. He can't afford to break his only toy, after all. <laughs> he needs someone to play with. His weird, sick board game. With. He needs someone to speak to. To boast his powers to. To mess with. He doesn't want to be left to be alone, left alone again, and I understand that perfectly. <laughs> Why is he?